My name's April Longford and I'm the owner of Green Hills Inn and Rodney and I have owned this place for six years. Yeah. Well, the history is, um, well, long history, obviously. It uh, was built in 1906 um, and it was built as a railway hotel by a, one of the first lady publicans of um, Western Australia, oh, wow. Marianne McMullen. Wow. And she built it as the third pub in town and it was called the Railway Hotel because it was directly opposite the railway station. Yeah. And the town was here because of the railway. Yeah. So people were coming here to go to Kalgoorlie. Okay. This was the last stop and this was going to be the line to go right through to Kalgoorlie. But then they changed it and followed the pipeline so it never actually eventuated. But in those early 1900, this was the end of the line to Kalgoorlie. Wow. Mm -hmm. So they had about 2,000 people here three pubs. Wow! Yeah. So this was a railway hotel but it was owned privately, it wasn't yeah. owned by the railways. Okay. Um, and then she leased it out to lots of leasees over the time yeah. um, and we've had lots of leasees, owners over the hundred years or over hundred years um, and it was actually decommissioned in the 80s as a hotel. It was a private residence for a short time. Oh. And, and then a couple of gay guys bought it in in the 90s and completely renovated it. You know, like the, the verandas were falling down, there were cracks everywhere. Wow. It was very, we thought it was going to be um, demolitioned. Wow. And so they pretty much came and saved it, put a lot of money into it, got it all running again and got the license back. Oh, awesome. And so it's been a pub since then. So the 90s, it was known very, worldwide with these two boys who owned it. Wow. Um, hence we've named the Queen Room downstairs the dining room after them for that uh, reason. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Mm, and is that the, the, the dining room that we've been in? Or yes, the, the green, green one. one. The, oh, green the green one's one. called yeah. the Queen Room. Oh, okay. And it's got a lot of Queen memorabilia in there because yeah. the boys were real royalists. Oh. I love the royal family. So a lot of the pictures and stuff they've got themselves. Wow. We've collected a few since as well. Mm. Mm. Okay, and yesterday um, you mentioned that in the past there's been murders and just different things that have happened. There have been a few stories over the years that are constant. Yeah. Um, so you kind of feel that they're, they're the truth, yeah. I suppose. Mm. Yes, there has been some murders, there's also been some throwing down the stairs wow. and then there's there's been other stories as well which have nothing to do with murders and stuff yeah. like that but there's just presences here. Yeah, yeah. Awesome. and that you know yes. so much history about the building is, is, is really, really great, that's, that's great. Mm. <laughs> um, but like you were saying yesterday when we first got here that it doesn't, and I, we both feel that there's nothing negative here. Even though it might have had some dark parts to the history, it's not a negative feeling building. Not at all. Like In not, fact, it's not any of the rooms very here. positive. Yeah. And I know it sounds really funny, but the hotel loves people being here. Yeah. And people think I'm mad when I say that, but when it's empty, it's sad. Oh. Like when we closed for COVID-19, yeah. it was very sad. I didn't think it was going to be opened oh. again. <laughs> and we oh. came back and said, don't worry, we're back again. Oh. Oh. It's very happy and when there's people around. And that's just a sense that you feel. sense I have, yeah. 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 Definitely, definitely. Well, I've been saying to Peter since we had lunch yesterday that I feel not so much like a guest of the hotel, like a paying guest. I feel like a visitor. Yeah, you're welcome you know, to the home. Yeah, mm, yeah, yeah. That's exactly how I felt the whole time we've been here. Yeah, yeah. Um, and that was before, you know, we really got to have a look at the rooms and things because we wanted to make sure we got to have lunch before the kitchen closed. But it just has that really welcoming feeling. Yes. It yes. Does. Yeah. And the other thing is, I'm here alone a lot, and I feel completely safe. I mm. almost feel protected. Oh, that's 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 great. So, um, obviously, over the years you've had a number of staff, um, you know, that have worked all over the year. Um, what are some of the the stories that you've heard? Um, there's lots of tricks get played on on the cleaners. 
all sorts of tricks get played on the cleaners. Ooh. There's some rooms they don't like going into. Um, there's when they're early in the morning, lights turn off and then turn back on, and doors close, all that sort of thing. Yeah. I actually think Rodney's playing tricks on him, but he's asleep in bed, so <laughs> <laughs> it's not him. <laughs> Sorry, what are some of the reports that you Okay, so you've when, I, guess? when I first came here, there were a lot of stories already around that people knew, and it was just general knowledge. Mm. So, one was there's a young girl up here, and she's probably around nine, ten, and she has a red dress, and she's often seen down that end, the bathroom end of the, um, the, hall. the hallway. Um, that's why I put a cot in there and we put teddy bears and stuff in there for the young girl. Yeah, so, so we did put that there for her because yeah. we heard that story. And the other one we heard was there's a lady in room one and there's actually pictures that I've got pictures downstairs in oh, the wow. drawer of a figure standing at the window, the door there. And mm. um, she died of a broken heart waiting for her lover who never, never returned. And it was supposedly not on the railway, but in a horse and cart, as far as I know. Oh, so that was the story. But it has been confirmed with guests since we've been here as well. So that was already the story. And well, I had people from Prairie like right, young boys who were my kid's age saying, I'm never going upstairs again because I saw a girl up there and she had a red dress on and that scared the crap out of me. So I'm never going up there again. Ooh. And they came and told us, that, you know, this because we bought the pub, so they Ooh. wanted to share that with yeah. us. So, you know, we'd had lots of people come to us and say, I've seen this, I've seen that. It's the same thing all the time. Then I had another guest who said she could speak to spirits. And she came up here with, I just show people around all the time when I have yeah. groups come through. And she came up here and said, do you know you've got a lady up there who um, keeps looking out the window and her name is Agatha? And I said, yeah, well, she's got a broken heart. She's waiting for her lover. And she said, she said that makes sense. Ooh. And then she also told me that in the bathroom with the bath that she doesn't like the blinds closed at all. Yeah. She will, if someone, most of the time we have it open, but if guests close the blinds to have a shower, she'll mess them up Ooh. so they're not sitting straight because she wants to have a view through that window. And that's, that, yeah. those blinds are always messed up if they're closed. Ooh. And then she also said there's a young girl up there as well. And I said, oh, yes, I know. She's got a red dress. And the lady said, no, she doesn't. And I went, well, that's unusual because everyone has told me it's a red dress. She goes, it's a rust colour. <laughs> Honestly, that'd be the same. If you're just seeing something, you're not going to tell me an exact colour, are you? Yeah. You're just going to give a general colour. So yeah. I believe it's the same girl. And her name apparently is Meredith, and they called her Mary Mary. What are your experiences? Or so especially personally, like here on your own? I don't have too many experiences. I hear footsteps, which is just common. I don't. I sometimes investigate them to make sure that no one's actually here. Yeah but no one ever is. But the other thing is, when I'm on my own at night, I can smell, it's like a perfume, and I don't think it's a perfume, I think it's like my grandma used to have powder that was oh, perfumed, yes. that's what it smells like. Yeah. And I smell that all the way up the hallway here. Mm. It smells nice, Yeah. it's pleasant, but yeah. it's certainly not something I use, Yeah. and no one else is here. No. And sometimes I can open up a bedroom and get a very strong whiff of it. So, but it's not it's not constant. Yeah. So do you think because you and your partner have, you know, done a lot of refurbishing the inn, that maybe the spirits kind of leave you be because Yeah, I think they just respect us. Yeah. 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 I, I, because you respect. I, I will tell you a story about Rodney. He'd hate this, but I'm going to tell you anyway. <laughs> he was sitting. Well, that was on our list. He was <laughs> sitting in the bedroom because he doesn't believe in anything, but he just goes along with me. Okay, so um, he's a huge sceptic. Yeah, absolutely. So he was sitting in the couch having an afternoon nap, watching TV. 
So we, we just relaxed and watched a bit of TV. And out of the corner of his eye, he saw a lady in um, an old dress, just standing, just looking at him. And he went, that's just ridiculous. Looked away and went back again. And of course it had gone. Ooh, but he said, she was definitely standing there. Is it like a white dress? He couldn't tell me. He just said it was old style. Um, when we were outside last night, um, because we kept hearing, um, well, at first it was just one voice, and then it, it sounded like a distant conversation. Yeah. Um, but then out of the corner of my eye, like I saw like something like past one of the beams on the balcony, um, and it was just white. So, yeah. I did wonder if that was that was Agatha. Mm, yeah. No. Yeah. So it has um, your partner had any other experiences? No, that was that one. Was it. <laughs> that was his one I mean, experience. That's a really good. Like, he likes to tell the story is, at the bar, but then he happens. tells it as so though it didn't really happen. But you know, this Ooh. is this is my story. <laughs> and I wasn't scared. I wasn't scared. And I wasn't scared. Yeah. And you know, I must I'm, have been just asleep. <laughs> not ours playing tricks on me. Yeah, that's yeah. right. Mm. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs>
child spirits. So since we've got Mary here, and Mary, how old is Mary? Um, she looked like she was nine or ten. Okay. About that age. We're going to see if she would like to play with them. Yep. Yeah. Mary, I've got a couple of little toys for you to play with. There's a really pretty pink one and a really pretty blue one. So you can pick, um, you can pick which one you'd like to play with. I can show you what they do. You can blow on them and make them spin. So they spin around like that. Mary, my name is Peter and this is Sean. We, we didn't introduce ourselves, sorry yeah. about that. But Sean saw you this morning. I did. And you were, what was she doing? She looked like she was picking up something and putting it down. Mm. And then turned around and walked out of the room. Mm. Were you getting ready this morning? You were up early. If you can hear our voices, Mary, can you make that light go off? Can you hear our voices, Mary? Thank you. Thank you. Fabulous. Um. Okay, so we're just using um, the same ovulus that we've used in our past investigations. Yep. Mm. Mary, are you able to communicate with me through this device in my hands? Did you hear that? Yeah. It was like a tap. Yeah. Bed. 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 Did you tap something, Mary? Yes. Yeah. Okay, so it's just come up saying bed. I couldn't see what colour dress you were wearing this morning. Can you tell me what colour it was? Or can we try and communicate with Agatha? Yeah, we can try. Mm. I think, I mean, we got responses about Agatha last night on the spirit box. Mm. Agatha, are you in here with us? Are you able to move in front of the light up there? and make it light up. <laughs> Johnny. Johnny? Johnny. I wonder what, if that was her love that didn't come back. Is Sean right, Agatha? Are you looking for him? Empath. Empath. I'm an empath. Mm. Oh my gosh, I'm an empath. Are you referring to Sean Agatha? The temperatures. Yeah. Go up to. 
Yeah, it's up to 20.1 now. Was I right? Was the... I don't know. I'm so confused about whether it was her husband or mm. her intended. But is it him that you're looking for, Agatha? Is his name Johnny? That'll be interesting to find out. Mm. Uh, are you okay with us staying in your room, Agatha? You can draw the energy. I could have sworn I just saw the one pinwheel move, the blue one. Really? Yep. Yeah. Might be a trick of the eye, but no, I, I don't see how it could be a trick of the eye because I wasn't really moving, but I could have sworn I saw it flick and stop. Oh, okay. So if it, if, if it did, it would probably have caught it on the camera. Oh. Agatha, if you're with us, could you maybe just tap on the wall or something? Yep. Yep, yep. All right, so we're going to do a little spirit box sesh. Yeah, and see if we can um, get Agatha or Mary to come through. Yeah. And um, any other spirits that may be uh, hanging around. Yeah. <laughs> You want to hold that actually. Yeah. Okay. Sweet. Okay. <clears throat> if anyone, Mary, or actually, if Mary or Agatha are with us, you can speak through the device I'm holding in my hand. It's not going to hurt you, it just allows us to hear you mm -hmm. and um, communicate. So. I'm going to press start and <coughs> say hello. Thank you. Was it thank you? Ooh. So Mary or Agatha, are either Hi. of you here? Short thing. Short thing. Yeah. I heard before that. Hi, how are you doing? Yeah. Mary, are you here? Just one. Just, just, just gone. Something? Just something. Yeah, maybe just gone. Yeah. Uh, Has Mary left? Has she le yeah. left this room? Um. Um. Can you tell us your name? My name is Peter and this is Sean. And we'd like to try and talk to you if we can. Do you have any messages for us? No. Mm -hmm. Please. Leave me alone. So leave me alone. Leave me alone. Mm. Mm. 
It does almost sound like that's a negative. Thank <laughs> you. Um, oh, sorry. I was going to say, Agatha, are you looking for Johnny? Yeah. Oh, yeah. That was. Can you tell us how old you are? Dead. Dead. We know you are dead. And we are sorry. Give me a minute. Can you say Sean's name? Sean. Thank you. Your empath. I just heard it again. Your empath. Oh, okay. Your. Your. Mary, did you like the the little presents that we bought you? Yes, something. Mm. Do you want us to leave them here for you? That sounded like a little girl's voice. How old are you, Mary? Ten, eight. I definitely heard an eight. Yeah. What color is your dress? Do you know who April is? Lady. Oh, lady. Do you protect her? Do you like it when people come and do you like it when people come and stay here? Fun. Fun. So it makes you happy. Happy. Yes, I heard that. Who's the spirit that closed the door on us last night? Me. Who's me? What's your name? April. Oh. I just heard that April. Oh. Other room. Other room. Yes, in the other room. Can you tell us what colour that room is? No. 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 Look. That's a mirror. 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 Do you want us to look in the mirror? Hey, 
Which mirror? In the room. To left. Room four. Yeah. Is there a is there a portal portal around here? Preacher. preacher. Oh, Paul's dad is a preacher. Is he? Yes, he oh. is. What was that? What was that? We heard a door slam. That was loud. Yeah. Did you hear footsteps? Did you hear footsteps? Yeah, that's what I thought. <laughs> Just don't trip over it coming back in the room. This one isn't very bright. Do you want me to do the other one? Yeah. Yeah. Where do you want us to go? Can you make a knock? If there's a room that you want us to go into, can you make a knock?
feeling here. Is someone in here with us? Shall we? I know. Oh. Mm, I know. This mirror that's um, up on the wall, guys, is um, something very similar to what um, was in our house when I was uh, 15. One day I'll tell you guys the story behind the mirror. Mm. Are you able to speak to us through this device in my hand? Cannot. 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 Just did. <laughs> yeah. Can you tell us who you are? My name is Peter and this is Sean. We'd really like to try and communicate with you if, if that's okay. Can you give us some sort of sign that you're in here? Well, I just heard footsteps. If that was you, can you make make the noise again? The doors are all open with the bathroom doors. Should we go and check if any of them are closed? Yeah, that's a good point. Very polite we are. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Because we love each other so, so much. Yes. I know, but that was closed earlier on. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they were all closed. That one's not. Mm -hmm. Shut up. There was a the two of us this morning today at lunch. Yeah. Like a shuttle bus. Could be random. Is Andre? Andre said that last night as well. Mm -hmm. 
Is there anyone over here by the by the baby's crib? Was that you? That wasn't your stomach. Is there somebody back here? That was my okay. shifting my weight. attached to this mirror. downstairs. You're joking, it said bacon. Did you hear that? Hmm? Did you hear that? Yes. That was someone talking. No, I heard the first, I heard someone talk and then I just heard something back in the kitchen. 
We definitely need to go into that dining room. Oh, yeah. No, I think that was the fridge. Almost like Yeah. See, this door doesn't swing shut. What was that? What the hell was that? That was so loud. something here but by the same you know at the same time I feel like it's not interested in doing anything for us mm. do you know what I mean mm. it's like yeah I'm here no I'm not doing it how you go kind of that, that kind of feeling mm. I just feel really heavy on my chest. Mm. Thank you. That was the door. No, that was talking. Did you hear that talking? Yeah. That was a male talking. I could hear that. It was a fridge. Oh. Was number three's door open? I thought it was closed before. I thought so too. Wait, 